greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. To look at our culture, you would think that we are obsessed with death. With the popularity of horror and zombie movies, you would think we have studied the issue, and have a complete understanding of the process. But in reality, it's quite the opposite. Our culture completely ignores the topic, until someone dies. It's all fun and games, until it's not. And then it happens, someone near and dear, passes away. Maybe a grandparent or a friend. And your little fantasy world is shattered. The fact is that we are all zombies, we are all dead men walking. Once you reach the age of 18, you begin to regress. From birth to 18, it's all grow grow grow. But after 18, the aging process kicks in, and we all start the slow but unavoidable process of death. Sure you can eat right and exercise, and take every vitamin known to man, but the process will inevitably march on, until you are in a casket, six feet under. For a topic to be so critical and earth-shaking, it's amazing how many people avoid the issue. Literally the thought of death, never crosses their mind, except maybe whenever they pay their life insurance payment. But is that wise? Of course it's important to prepare for death physically. Where to have the funeral, and where to be buried, but what about preparing for death, spiritually? Death is just a part of life. It is nothing to dread or fear. The judgment day is just a part of life too. It is also nothing to dread or fear. Unless. Unless you have not prepared your heart for the transition. If you are watching this video, you are physically alive, but you may be spiritually dead, dead in your sins. To be truly alive, you must be born again. We have all sinned and fallen short of God's ideal for us. As humans, we can be weak and stupid at times, with some people seemingly even hell-bent for destruction. But God in his great wisdom, recognizes that, and has provided a way to save us, from our own self-destructive behaviors. When God created us, he created us in his image. There are many ways that we are created in his image, but the top two are, number one, we are eternal spirit beings in essence. And number two, we have a free will, the freedom to choose our eternal destiny. We are a spirit, that lives in a body, that possesses a mind. The body is temporary, but the mind and spirit, are eternal. So unlike God, we had a beginning. But, from the moment of our conception, we will live forever. And that eternity will be spent either in fellowship with our Creator, or separated, in outer darkness. But our eternal destination, is up to us. God allows us to determine where we spend eternity. But the decision must be made here on earth, before you leave your body, before you cross that threshold of death. So how do you make sure that you go to the good place, and not the bad place? It's actually a simple answer, with some rather complicated ramifications. You have two options. A. Live a perfect life, or B. Allow God to save your soul. Since no one has ever lived a perfect life, option B, is truly our only option. So how can we accept God's offer of salvation? Embrace what Jesus did for you on the cross. If we have all sinned, and the wages of sin is death, then the payment I must pay for my rebellion, is eternal death. But because God does not want anyone to perish, he sent Jesus to pay your payment of death on that old rugged cross. All you have to do is accept that gracious payment, by confessing Jesus as your Savior and your Lord. It is a simple concept, but a lifelong process. Salvation happens in a moment, but then you spend the rest of your life, growing to become more like the Creator. More love, more compassion, more empathy. He saves you, then empowers you, then equips you, then uses you to reach others. You become a lighthouse, pointing the lost ships to the safe harbor of Jesus. You become, his ambassador of grace. Peace be unto you and your house. So the question is, are you ready? You have a date with destiny, and that destiny is eternal. 
Will you spend that eternity in fellowship with your Creator, or in separation? Only you can decide your own personal fate. Give your heart back to its Creator, and start your journey of life. Then death can become your friend, not your enemy. And Judgment Day will be a time of peace, rather than anxiety. Choose wisely my friend, for there is much more at stake, than you may realize.